Surgent Suraban, also known as Alpha. This is your Excalibur? Interesting mix of characters. Yeah, it's... This right here, Excalibur. So I can already just look at this and say, you got frustrated this game. You got frustrated with some answer that you couldn't figure out what to do against. And he immediately says, yes, he did get frustrated. So this is Excalibur. Apparently. Also known as Alpha. Look to one goddamn name, Excalibur. Jeez. And he plays 76 Tracer Winston Hanzo 31XX SR. Overwatch VOD. He says he was passive for the most part. I will be the decider of that. So I can already tell you, looking at other people's, you're, you're probably upset at the, the, the comp. Oh, and this is bad. This is, this is a rough thing to see in any game. You usually feel I'm not upset. Okay, okay. But I'll let you know if I'm not doing good. Oh man, that's a, I'm afraid to see that in my games. All right, turret right away. Good job. No one got shot. Took an arrow to the face. Ah, I was a soldier too until I took an arrow to the face. Uh, geometry got your Ana. Uh. Okay, so you're gonna go flank up of around him. This is cool. The Hanzo seems to be doing work. Ooh. Oh, and he got you in the back. So definitely, um... I know you want to go for that direct shot, but uh, you were kind of low, so it's going to be hard to shoot the ground with rockets. And you go immediately go tracer. So was that? I think that was probably the only soldier stuff. Cool. Okay. <gasps> oh, and the Zenyatta got you. Oh, I can't kill this Hanzo. Is that what he says? I can't pop her. Can't Pharaoh? And a second Hanzo ult. So yeah, I would agree that Pharah, if you were going to pick a Pharah, it would be a little rough. Uh, but you definitely need to take this high ground somehow. And tanks are the answer. So, okay. You gotta watch out for this shield gen. That's what you gotta find. Uh, so it's difficult to take a, 
like a good soldier Hanzo is going to be very tough to fight. Uh, incredibly tough to fight. Especially when they have the high ground advantage, and if they're not really dumb, they can hear you coming from behind them. Uh, another answer would have been just to get tanks and to get more people up there. Uh, your team didn't, like, notice how your team didn't value the high ground until it was too late. Well, until they, they all went up there and then they just took the high ground. Yeah, Diva to get a bomb off, but securing that high ground is super damn important. Uh, there's no way around it outside of skill as a tracer. S tracer, there's a lot less decision. And there's, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of decisions Tracer has to make, but man, does it come down to your skill. I've got you in my sights. Enemy and Soldier only gave it two shots. I can't, I, I won't critique that play. It just, it's very hard to critique. Two lives worth of soldiering. You see, follow that guy and you got him. This diva, holy shit. I would actually push up. I, I would push up to the chokes right now. Your team was asking for. I know, that's why I read it. I saw they said we need a Pharah. And I, I think. I don't know if you. That son of a bitch. That is the most annoying thing. I just want to go back and. Let, let's see how shit these guys. I hate Hanzo. He's not even looking at Tracer. Look, he's looking at the ground. Clearly, he is looking straight at the ground, and he's going to look at the ground over here now. Ah! Just hoping to get to the general vicinity of you. And he got you. Alright, you got him. That's actually a good, good use to bait out Ana's grenade. Because uh, Tracer can just remove the anti-heal automatically. So I know with triple dash you can make it across this lit leap. And you get that fucker. Eva's behind you, soldier alt in front, or nano soldier in front. So I like how you're staying on the fringe of combat. That's definitely a good thing. Uh, the problem is, is Tracer just comes down to pure accuracy. So as Tracer, you always want to stay uh, away from the middle of combat. You can usually, you can dash through it, but even dash through it can cause issues. Like, this is dashing through middle. In fact, uh, I was watching the Apex season finale when I was reviewing that, and they have a Tracer that does, he, he presses forward through the center and he, he dies for it uh, very quickly. He essentially double blinks through center, and he just gets shot to uh, 20 health because he just went through the center of mass. This is good. See how you're holding the side? This is really, really good for Tracer. My accuracy is poop as you've seen. This booty mage. Well, this isn't you, booty mage. And so this is right here what happened. Look, you're in the middle of combat. I don't even think that guy was aiming for you. Can we see it? Yeah, he was aiming at a Reinhardt. I, I, I honestly think he didn't even see you. Uh, that is the danger for playing Tracer in the middle.
weapons remaining. Nanoboots is ready to deploy. We need to keep the pain on moving forward. <laughs> It's cool to, yep, yep, look down here. Oh! Did it actually play Reaper? We got 10 seconds left. All right, let's see if this, this gamble pays off. All right, good. You didn't get greedy. It's right above... Oh, I don't know where the hell that detonated, but that was dangerous. Alright, I mean, you give your best shot. Don't you have to go into the middle sometimes? You do Excaliburs, but you try not to. It's definitely a less than preferred method of dealing with trade. If you do, you want to just dash through it really quick you don't want to dash there and shoot one clip off even though one clip is a second uh you don't want to sit there and, and uh spend a clip it's too dangerous it's you can get hit by people shooting at other people like what happened there tracer lives on the fringe of combat if uh if you have a point like this not like that like these uh tracer you will deal with stuff here if not here. Stop the payload. It's good to hear what to pick if the enemy Genji is giving you a lot of problems. Uh, Roadhog and Winston. Those are usually the two good ones. And the thing is, the three heroes that really deal with Genji, Zarya, Roadhog, Winston, they're all tanks and they're all just good to have in the game. Uh, I actually really like that move. Uh, because you're hitting so many targets, you got a lot of alt charge quickly. Aiming's ah, overrated. Oh shit! Yeah, you just kind of walked up. They have a Bastion, Tor Bastion. Man, what a fucking composition! Yeah, this is one of the times you want to leap on them. Definitely when you use your shield before you hit the ground. And then just damage as much as possible. Uh, don't, don't peek on this. Yeah. Just let that shit run out. So yeah, one one is respect Torb's ult. We play Hanzo. I mean, I think Winston isn't a terrible idea. So you get that health pack right behind you. Uh, probably get that health pack. Also, as Winston, I don't think I would camp that area. Uh, Winston, you want to be moving around a lot more. So you don't want to be in the closed-in area at first. Uh, especially when they're pushing through the choke point. Because they have an easy way of shooting you. Winston's entire body takes up with this entire door frame. Right? This, this door frame that I have to kind of, kind of draw in perspective. Winston takes up this entire door frame. Uh, it's not for him good being here. I, I hold this area as Junkrat because I can bank shots off that way. I don't think I'd ever hold this area as any normal class. Maybe Symmetra. Yeah, 
Get him. My ultimate is charging. I have your back. All right, here you want to create a lot more space. A lot more space. Right, you probably want to be back here or even farther back this way. As long as you have a straight line on where you want to fire, then speed that far back. Being up close is all right, but you need your team to be up that close. Uh, you are definitely in the line of fire. I mean, Bastion probably hits you by hitting one of your allies. Sensitivity is too high? Well, that's... Uh, you're talking to someone with 5,000 DPI, so I usually don't comment on people's sensitivity. I must reclaim my... It's up to them. If they, if he wants to stay at this sensitivity and learn like this for like 5 to 10 years, that's his, that's his goddamn, you know, right. It may be tough for him to do it now, but you can learn how to play it. You can learn to play at any sensitivity if you give it enough practice. Yeah, get the high ground. Go. Here you go. Now you're playing Hanzo. That's a good alt because people normally walk backwards a little bit. And it looked like you planned for them to walk backwards. I'll get the high ground back immediately. And you're going to, it looks like. Oh god, you became the the guy that's using scatter shot. Oh shot at him. Okay, I was gonna say yeah, shoot an echo so you can see where to shoot at. Remember there's health inside the church. Corner game. Get the high ground, get the fuck out of there. Uh, with this amount of time, yeah, I would agree. Oh! Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, damn, that was a pretty good shot. Your team was going to have a chance to defend that with the amount of time that they needed to push the cart, but with you dying, it's going to be tough. Don't. Uh, I mean, that point was given up at the time. Uh, you, that just comes with time, just knowing when to hold them and when to fold them. <laughs> yeah, I saw you running for that shield. Uh, yeah. Remember, keep backing up. Have an escape route. Watch out for that okay. turret. My ultimate is ready. Just always have... This... This diva also... Just... She knows where to throw her alts. You know he's going to be down there somewhere. Yep, good. Good shots. That was... That could have been an amazing kill. So I think right here your positioning is great. Mm. Uh, this so here you could talk about um, just player psychology. If someone keeps on taking a flank, expect them to keep taking that flank.
30 seconds remaining. I am ready to activate the sound barrier. See through the wolf's eyes. I mean, this is what you need to do as Hanzo. You just make everyone pay for not being behind a shield. Uh. You still hit her? No, that yeah, they got absorbed. All right, put down the bow and find another angle to find. Or find another angle to take. I mean, I've arrived. Right ah, uh, you should have saw that. Okay, I mean, it, it, you guys won, but you saw that turret before, so you should have known that uh, whenever you pop up, that was going to get you. But not bad. So you're a flex player. Or a fill, whatever you want to call them. Overall, I would say not bad. I'm trying to think of all your classes. Uh, soldier, there's nothing I can critique. It was two deaths. I, I don't want to say yes or no with anything. That's not to say I couldn't learn something from it. It's just that I, I would rather have more information when critiquing a class than just two deaths. Uh, as Tracer, yeah, be wary of middle, and I think just your accuracy needs, you just need to play more with, with um, it's, uh, tracking type ideas. Um, and I know before I said that, I made the point that in another video I was like, there's no such thing as tracking. I said, where people usually have tracking... And, um, flick. Uh, I said these don't exist. They're just, they're just grief buckets. Where people can throw their, um, grievances in. They're like, oh, I'm not as good as flick aiming as him. But that doesn't mean I'm a worse player. Or, oh, I can't track as well as him. But, you know, I can still do other things well. Like, they try to pick their battles and throw what they're not good at in, in, this, in this waste basket and think they're still good. Uh, the truth is, this is just you. This is your skill. It's in, it's in the basket. It's trash. I don't mean you and per like you specifically, but players in general. Anyone that does this grief basket shit, they're just putting themselves in the trash bin. The truth is, tracking and flicking doesn't exist. This is just called accuracy or aiming. Uh, why do I think this way? Because... When you first, when first person shooters first came out, they didn't go, oh, let me work on my tracking. Oh, let me look at my flicking. No, they didn't say this. They said, I'm going to shoot people. They're just going to say, oh, I'm just going to shoot people. Uh, they work on accuracy and aiming. Eventually, they're like, hey, I think there's two ways of aiming. There's this slow way and there's this quick way. And they're both useful and we should be able to do both. And the problem is, is that kids these days only see this. Right? They go, oh, no, there is only tracking and only flicking. And they don't understand the, the fucking shit we went through back in, you know, the 80s and 90s and 2000s of for us to tell them that this exists. But this was the legacy of it. This is its, you know, its father. Um... Yeah, stop going on my old man rant. Fuck you, Chester. I go on as many old man rants as I as I can. All right. Also, get off my grass, you fucking kids. But yes. So I don't want to say get good at tracking so you can play tracer better. No, fuck that. I'm just gonna say, hey, play more so you can get better at aiming. All right. I'm not gonna take some fucking stupid. Like, analysis guy that wants to seem high and mighty. Just to be like, oh, you have to work on your tracking and maybe a little bit of your flicking so you can use them at X, Y, and Z. But at QW and X, you want to use flicking or tracking, blah, blah, blah. No, that's all bullshit. Like, fucking play Overwatch. Get better at aiming. It'll come in time. Don't worry about it. Wah, wah, wah. People shouldn't use new words. I don't like them. I don't. Back in my days, we only had 10 letters. Not only do we have only 10 letters, we only had four colors. We had gray, white gray, dark gray, gray, and brown. All right, brown was the ground, 
Gray was all the walls. Light gray was the sky, and dark gray were the player models. All right, that's all. That's all we had. That's all we had. All right, we had four colors and ten letters, and we made it work. All right, so fuck off, kids. It actually is Quake. Hold on. Yeah, timing's overrated. You guys think I'm fucking fooling you? Here it is. You guys think I'm fucking lying, don't you? You think I'm fucking lying? Huh? You fucking kids think I'm lying. I'm not lying, okay? That skybox, that fucking skybox, there's two of them. There's a red one and a blue one. Alright? I told you. Look, it's just gray. There's brown and then gray. And then this was red or blue, but it, no one cared. Alright? It, it's not fucking gray. Look at the water. The water, dark gray. And this is a light brown. We had darker browns. You know, we worked with what we had, people. That was Quake 3. Quake, you can tell it's Quake 3. Cause, I mean, it's just like, look how smooth it looks. Man. You had to do a sweet-ass circle jump right here. Sorry to go on tangents. But if you strafe jumped off this, you would always fall short. But if you could do a circle jump... And a circle jump means you left on this square of your model, and then you would land on this square by rotating slowly, so that if you're aiming this way, you would have to aim this way, and you would have to land on the other corner of your model. Fucking circle jumping was dope. You could ramp jump off of this one, you could double jump off of the stair on this side, and you could also water jump up to here. Oh god. The days. That's pretty. That's a pretty rough picture. Man. Good old quick. Anyway, sorry, I got off off topic. When's my cane coming in? One fucking second. Yeah, timing's overrated. Fuck off. Back to reviews. <laughs> Explain what? I got a cane. Don't worry, but Jesus, man. Do I, do I need a reason why I need a cane? Do I need a reason? I'm waiting. I see no reasons. Do I hear any reasons? No, no reasons. Someone already clipped that. Get off my lawn. How did it look? Was it good? Oh, man. I look so fucking old in that picture. Oh, that's such a good clip. Is 
Is it the swing at all the ladies chasing you? Yeah, that's it. Um, I have to, I have to literally beat the ladies off of me with a cane. Rose hair looks like dog hair. Grant, you son of a bitch! What a burn! Anyways, where were we? God damn. You know this is why my reviews. This is why my reviews take so damn long. All right, because you people ask stupid questions like, "Why do I have a cane?" All right. We gotta get back to this. Gotta get back to it. Some dogs do have really good hair. I had a long-haired German Shepherd, and that guy was fucking beautiful. Okay, so... I, I kind of did forget about the game. Uh, we talked about Tracer and aiming before I got off on it. So, I think people really worry about, like, specifically working about tracking... Or flick. Uh, the truth is, this just comes from mastery of aiming. Don't don't worry about learning one or the other. All right, this is like this is sincere advice. Don't worry about it. Um, just worry about playing Overwatch, and your aim will come in time. In fact, that's why I value action the least. Uh, aim will come in time. So just keep playing. If you want to get better at hit scan, then play hit scanners. Uh, if you just want to get better at tracking, then play classes that need tracking. But always just remember, it, it at the heart of it all is aiming. There's nothing more, nothing less to it. Uh, I believe your movement was quite good in general. It was good. Your position. Positioning as Tracer, uh, I, already, I already critiqued you on that. Uh, stay away from the center. You want to be on the edges. You want to be the parentheses if it was a rounded X. Um, let me try to think. You're Hanzo. Uh, you're too close. At least on the first point. The second point you were doing better. And the third point, yeah, yeah. Second and third were good. Uh, the first point you had this too close issue. And this could be because of aggression. Also, wasn't there a sub I just missed? I missed the sub. I saw it in chat for a second. I swear I saw someone sub. It's not appearing in my dashboard. I'm sorry. Broke. Kinarto, thank you for the sub. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not coming up on my dashboard, but yeah. Um, so aggressive. This is what I tell everyone that's playing at a lower levels. Um, don't worry about that A and this N. Don't worry about those. Uh, when it comes to aggression, like people can play Overwatch well in general. It's when they get aggressed on that they start panicking and they just don't know what to do. Uh, and to alleviate this, either you just need more space between you and the enemy, or if you're looking to assist other people, is take out these threats before they aggress on them. Uh, that's why I say Hog and Zarya are really good solo climbers because you can just protect your team and allow them to play Overwatch. And if there's no aggression on them, I'm assuming they can play Overwatch. At a decent rate. Uh, so, I mean, you were, what, 2,800? And I still think that's within the realms of having an issue with aggression. So when something attacks too quick, what do you do? Uh, each class has their own way of dealing with this. And you were Hanzo, and the truth is you just need to be farther away if it looks like they're running a divish comp. Uh, if they start increasing, like, how close they're getting to you, then you need to back up. You broke my bat? Ed Crow broke Naruto sub. Yeah, I saw it. I, I said thanks, but it's not appearing in my dashboard. There it is. I can put it on screen now. My genius is finally recognized. There we go. Thank you, Ricardo. 
uh, for logistics, how are you moving around? So, yeah, so you were moving too far forward. Uh, that's just too close again. So find a way to not be so close. Uh, take the long path, take the long ways. Uh, that's only for the first point. You, you kind of fix this issue on the second and third point, I think, very well. Uh, 76, I said I wasn't going to critique. The Tracer, you were you were staying on the edges most of the time. I think you're doing the right things at the right time there. Your logistics was fine there. Your 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 methodology and your idea of. Uh, also, I put in logistics is skill usage. I'll spell skills with a Z so I can be cool. Um, your skill usages were fine. I think Tracer was good. Hanzo is good. Uh, yeah, I think you're fine there. Information, I don't think you got caught off guard through sound or sight. You kind of knew what was happening. Uh, I'd really have to look at that point one where you guys got surprised by them being on top of you right away, but that was only one point. It wasn't like a huge deal. Maybe just be wary of the classes they're running, because what were they running? Oh, that's when you were Winston. So yeah, as a Winston, don't be in that closed-in area. Uh, you like, you know, he's a monkey. He likes wide open spaces. Uh, yeah, definitely don't be in that closed-in area. With any class outside of Junkrat, that I would say. Junkrat Symmetra. Everyone else just has, has a really rough time in that, that room. Um, yeah, Winston, I think you played it just a little bit. But you did it well. Uh, for the most part. You did just get shot by the one guy really quick, but... You're against a Torb and a, a Bastion, and you just took a hail of bullets immediately. But information-wise, I think you did everything fine there. You mostly played Hanzo. Right? Right? Yeah, you did Tracer on offense. Yeah, I think you did well there. So I had a I have a neat idea. So whenever it comes to playing Winston, and this, uh, I'm gonna. All right, a little bit of story time about Winston. Do carnivals even exist anymore? Back when I was a kid. Back when I was a kid, we had carnivals, and they would come around every now and then. Uh, it would usually be in the spring or the summer, and, and the carnival would come by, and they they try to rip you off. They have really shitty rides. Honestly, I don't know why you ever went. Uh, Cotton candy was expensive. Elephant ears were fucking delicious, but expensive. But they had those stupid ass games, stupid ass games, and there is all just to rob you of your money. But but one of those games we can use, people, we can use to our advantage. Cover the spot. Cover. Spot. Can I remember this stupid thing? I hated this fucking game. I always lost. I'm like, how hard can this game be? Put the metal things on the magnet. You cover the circle. Should be no problem, right? Always fucking lost. Bullshit. Anyways, how does this help us with Winston? How should Winston attack a death ball? Oh how we do it people this is essentially how you attack as a winston so this guy's gonna guide us through it he's like look don't do this this is this is how you play winston poorly but this is how you play it goodly you know i don't care about this start start dropping him man start dropping him actually this is probably really good advice so he's he's looking at this line And this line he's going to use to cover the death ball, right? Watch this. So he's just going to drop, just drop it. So this is, this, get your hand out of the fucking way. I think it's tab, yeah. So anyways, this is the death ball. We're going to call it the D ball. 
This is Winston. So if you ever want to realize how to jump on a deadfall as a Winston, you don't want to go in the center because they're all just going to focus you and fucking kill you. What you want to do is you want to go on this little edge of combat. You'll get one or two of them. Like, there's, you're going to be on the edge of the death ball. You're going to cover one or two of them. Hopefully, it's one of the 200 hit point classes. Hopefully, it's a squishy. And then from there, that, that's, how, that's how you fight them. Because if you, if, you, uh, if you bite off too much, then you're just going to lose, right? And he's kind of explaining that. If you go too far to the right, you're not going to cover the whole, the whole thing. If you go too far to the left, it doesn't work. Uh, this is essentially exactly the amount of circle like you want to engage in when attacking a death ball as Winston. Uh, it's just off of the edge, right? Uh, you barely want to cover the circle. You don't want to ever attack the entire death ball at once. You just want to cover a little edge. Target one or two guys down. If you can get them, you can get them. If you can't, get the hell out of there. That's how you do it. Two Winstons? No, this is just learning how to do it. You don't get it? You don't get it? This is how you play Winston. Right? If you have six guys in this bubble, or in this death ball, what you want to do is you want to focus a, a couple of them down with Winston. Using any of these circles. Right? You just don't want to attack all of them at once. You just, you just don't attack them all at once. That, that's the problem. A lot of people, they'll jump right into the middle of the death ball, and then they put down a shield, and they're like, well, I died. What, what, what did I do wrong? Well, you, you try to take a 6v1. What you need to do is take a 6v2, even though the other four are really close. The shield, and, and playing the good shield game, like here and here, or like if you got to run this way, here and here, uh, it gives you enough time to get out. And it allows you to try to focus one guy down, and what happens is, is other people need to dive in with you. But just for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to talk about Winston and the Death Ball. So yeah, cover the spot. Anyways, I taught you how to guys. I taught everyone how to be pro Winston's right now. Wait, did you actually legitimately not get that? explains how to play Winston as a Junkrat main. Grant, if you think... If you think these... If you think every class is completely different... Then you're, you're, you're just wrong. Uh, Overwatch is 90% normal skill, just skill. And 10% hero skill. If you're a Grandmaster, I think you should be at least a 35 to 4,000 any other class. And if not, you'll, fi you'll figure it out quickly. But yeah, as your, your Winston play, you played it a couple times. Uh, one of them was really good. You got right off the edge of combat. You put down a bubble. You had the Hanzo and someone else. But you're hitting like the three other people outside here as well. And then you leaped away. And it was a good way to get 25% alt in like four seconds. It, it was quite good. Uh, the second time, you just got bashed in and torbed. Uh, you, you just died before you even launched. Did you mean to say pick a target or two and play the bubble game? Yes, but on the edge. Did you do anything with a bad team? Well, you just gotta play with it. But your treasure play was good. Excalibur. And your Hanzo play was good. Uh, with your Tracer play... Man, like, you had good target priority. You were all, I don't think... Very few times were you going for a meaty target. And if you were, it was the Hog. Uh, you were going at the 200 hit point targets, and you just had a rough time bursting them down. That's all. Like, that, that, and that's not a big deal. Uh, as Hanzo... Like I said, your second and third point were really good. Your first point was a little rough. But again, your, the, the team broke the, the line of defense and they kind of were on you. But your second and third point were good with Hanzo.
the target priority was correct there. Uh, your echo darts or whatever they're called were fine. Your scatter shots were pretty fine. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't mind that. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you talk about Winston's, you bubble, like, at this point. And then you land. Uh, because the bubble animation actually... There is, like, a second of you putting down the bubble. Uh, was that defense? Yeah. So there's one time you're going to attack into that small room. And you... And watch... There's actually a, a second where you have to throw down the shield. Yeah, this is where you pressured the thing poorly. Oh, you already used it? So there's, that, there's that one second. Like, it, it does take a second for you to actually slap it down. Uh, you want to activate that. Because you're actually, you want to activate that while you're still in the air. So that it creates a bubble around you and then you land. But yeah, there, there actually is that second delay. Yeah, I mean, you're good. How can I improve Tracer except... How can I improve Tracer play except for aim? I got it from watching pro games. I don't watch much Tracer. Uh, so Tracer is all about attacking on the fringe of battle. And you can dive in on in the middle during specific targets. So let's see what happens here. So the, this is fine. Like, this is you attacking on the, on the edge of battle. Now here you are, now he get, they get two kills. You're also going up... By the way, also on this whole thing, look at this. They got 75 hit points plus 75 from Torb. Uh, everyone you're attacking is 150 hit points higher than you think they are. So if you feel bad about not killing people here, realize you're going up against a lot. So here you're on the edge of battle still, right? You're not in the main path. So you want to be, yeah, you want to hug this left, like, this is exactly it. You want to constantly be on the, the flanks. So see that, that wasn't, that was just a normal helix rocket the guy just shot in. At this point, I would say go through this way, but I think you go out the normal way. Right. So here you are trying to fight in the middle. You, you, you don't fight there. Uh, Tracer just doesn't fight in the middle of con combat. You gotta keep fighting on the flanks. So here you are chasing this guy down, and as soon as you go in the middle, because of just normal damage in the sentry, I mean, that guy keeps bailing your ass out. And you should have been pushed up here. You did finally push up. And right here, this is just this is just simply one-on-one -on -one skills. That's all there is to it. Nothing you could have done about that. Like outside of shooting them better, but tell, telling you to shoot them better is just stupid, right? It just that comes in time. So this, like, you could go through that area. Like, you could go around and try to flank them that way. You could sit here on this edge of combat. You just don't want to be in this main area at, at first. Unless your team, unless you're engaging with your team and they're, you know, a take, taking everyone on at first. And you're just kind of this hidden DPS that's, that's whipping around. Right here, this move with on Tracer, I mean on D.Va, is what Tracer's really good at. Someone's engaged with someone and then you come out of nowhere and just deal, like, 200 damage randomly. I mean, that was like that's a good move. Yep, staying on the edge of combat like this. This is this is on the front edge, right? If you think combat is an area, like this is an edge, this is an edge, this is an edge, and like this is an edge. These are all correct things to do. 
You're out of here, dragons. Peace. This this happens. I mean, that's a so that's a sh uh, soldier, right? He has to hit you what once? No, he'd have to hit you twice to kill you with uh, uh, missiles. So while you did go up the middle there, you're still on the edge a little bit, and your team was engaged, right? They weren't focusing you or focusing someone behind you. See, that's fine. When there's one person, it's okay to engage them on a one-on-one. -on -one. That there's no problem with that. Tracer's good at that. But she's best at getting into a battle that they didn't know that Tracer existed at and doing just 200 damage out of nowhere and then blinking away. If you can land the headshots, then Tracer is one of the most strongest, like the most powerful class in the game. She's insane. Yeah. Any other questions? I guess what you should you work on is Tracer. Um, or just play Tracer more. I mean, it's your accuracy. Tracer is so dependent on accuracy that once you get positioning correct, then like accuracy comes in time. And I think your position is well enough at 2800 that what you need to learn about positioning, you'll learn while getting your accuracy better. Like I think just playing more is going to be great for you. Would you say that Tracer Winston two stack can, can complement any team comp because of the similar playstyle, not just full dive comp? Um, I think Winston can. I think Winston's good, like in every comp. Yeah, Winston's really strong right now. Uh, as for Tracer, if a Tracer's good enough, yes. I think Tracer can work in any comp. I think. So I'm trying to think if she's going up against 3 2 1. That's, that's what I'm trying to think of. I think, I think she would. What did I think about the Reaper pick? Uh, it wasn't bad. I mean, you did it, I think, for the Hog. What did they have? Hog Diva at the time? Uh, the only reason I thought it was weird is because you needed to get to the point extremely fast. And I don't know how Reaper competes against, like, Soldier or anything. That's all. That, that's the only way I would say it would be weird. If you wanted to kill the tanks... Also, I don't know what your alt percentage was. What was your alt percentage? Was it worth giving up? Did you use your alt? Yeah, you did. So what do they got? They had a hog, and I think that's the main reason why you did it. They had a diva. Also, Wraith Form is good for holding overtime on the cart, because you can hold the cart and no one can do anything about it. But other classes can do that too. Uh, since you took this corner, I would say it's okay to play Reaper. It's taking this corner that's difficult. I mean, it wasn't terrible of an idea. Also, Reaper right now is just really undefined. No one really knows what's, what's the correct way to deal with, or how to work with them. So even, even if I watched a bunch of pro games, I can't really tell you if it's good or not. It wasn't a bad idea. But with that, I do need to move on.